Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have for you tropes that I just cannot read. I have actually avoided this topic because usually the way I see it displayed on YouTube is tropes I hate. And I really wanted my channel to be positive. I didn't want to, uh, you know, record anything that had to do with hate or just negativity. But then I realized that it's not necessarily anything that I hate, it's just tropes that I don't usually read for one reason or another has nothing to do with the book itself or the writer or the writing style. It just topics I just personally cannot read. In the next video, I'm gonna talk about tropes that I love. So if that sounds good to you, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and that you hit the notification bell so that you don't miss my next upload. If that sounds good to you, then keep on watching. So I have eight tropes for you and I'm gonna work my way down to my very least uh, trope that I just cannot read. I will avoid it like the plague. I just cannot do it. So let's jump right in. Number eight is high fantasy topics. Novels like Game of Thrones, anything that has like a ton of characters and a lot of things to just keep track of. I cannot, I cannot, I cannot, I, I mean, you guys, I watched Game of Thrones, and if you guys were to ask me right now, like, what, uh, anything about the show, I probably couldn't tell you. I barely remember the people's names, and I'm watching it, so I can't imagine reading it. Um, I've tried, cannot do it, so I just avoid it because I cannot do it. It's just, it's a personal thing with my mind. I guess I just can't keep track. I don't know what it is, but that's number eight. Number seven is... Um, YAs with young characters that speak as though they are professors like that drives me nuts you have this you know 17 year old and she's got this amazing vocabulary and the things that she says just drives me absolutely bananas I think it's beautiful writing but I, I find myself rolling my eyes at some point because I'm like, that's not what she would really say. Or that's not the way she really talks. So I think that is a little bit of a, of a turn off for me just because I want the voice to be more authentic versus, you know, hearing the writer uh, in the story. I want to hear the character more so. Another trope that I cannot stand, and I don't know if this is going to be a popular opinion or not, but I don't like men hating tropes. So my belief is that men and women are both equal and we should be treated as such and anything that um, puts men, man down or, you know, woman down. I don't like either one, but, you know, in this world that we're living in, it's, it's a lot of the man hating kind of um, narrative that goes around and I don't like that. I like it to be shown that we're both equal and yeah, that's, that's what I like and what I, um, I like to write that and I like to read that. Number five is erotic novels. I don't gravitate towards those at all. They don't appeal to, appeal to me at all. I don't like them. I did read Fifty Shades of Grey, the first book, because I thought it was going to be um, more like, you know, obviously it was the big hype of Twilight and as you guys know, or don't know, Twilight is the reason I started writing. I love that series. It's got a special place in my heart. So when that came out, I read it and I just don't forget about the writing. I'm not even going to discuss the writing because it's not fair. I mean, it's just my opinion, but I just don't like that topic. I don't like to read that topic. Number four is space adventures. Anything to do with space or speculative fiction. Oh my god, when I was in college, I had to take like one course of speculative fiction because it was like my last uh, class that I, I needed one more, like three more credits, and that was the only class available. And I was like, fine, you know, science fiction, I could do it. I could not. It was the hardest class I had to take. There were so many books to read and all of us, you know, fiction, speculative, science fiction. I cannot. I will not read anything like that. It's the same thing you know, when just like high fantasy, there's a lot to keep track of. There's things that don't really relate into our world that I have to like start imagining it and like picturing it. 
and I don't know I just can't I can't vibe with it I will not pick it up I only read those types of books because I was forced to in school but I would never ever ever pick it up um, again no reflection no reflection on if you like that I think that's great um, it has nothing to do with your taste it's all about me and what I like to read and the topics that I like to read about and the style that I like to read so um, no hate here I'm, I'm just saying what I like and if you like it right on <laughs> number three that I just cannot read is anything to do with like psychological crazy people like like a mental disorder I'm not talking about like a sociopath or something like that I can do crime novels and things like that but I cannot do like if you have like a psychological schizophrenia or anything to do with like anxiety I think because it triggers like my own fears um, you I've mentioned before here that I sometimes suffer from inside anxiety so anything to do with that I can't not read because it just I don't know it makes me uncomfortable and when I read I want to be comfortable and enjoy what I'm reading and be intrigued and I don't want to feel uncomfortable when I'm reading a book there's just no way that's I will steer away from anything that has to do with a mental disorder all the way number two anything to do with demons and exorcism I just cannot <laughs> no way that freaks me out I don't I will not read it and it's a little different than like if you see them in like Supernatural the show I, I watched the show and it that doesn't like freak me out I don't know why maybe watching it I can I don't know I can separate myself from it more than if I'm reading I don't know but I cannot read anything to do with that and I really can't I don't like watching things like that either I don't like to read it or watch it I guess Supernatural the show does it in a way that it with the demon situation they do it in a different way that doesn't freak me out so I guess that would be the one exception but I definitely will not ever just pick up a book that has to do with that or anything like that for sure and the number one thing that I will not pick up in a book if I see a book and it has to do with this will not read it is sick lit <laughs> which means anything that has to do with anyone being sick having cancer no I cannot like again that gives me like anxiety not because I've had cancer not because anyone in my family has I'm just really like afraid of that topic I just don't I want to avoid it I again it's all about being positive for me and it's something enjoyable and, and it's, you know a way to escape from life and I don't need to be stressed out when I'm reading and anything to do with that topic really stresses me out and gives me fears and I don't need to add that into my life whatsoever so I totally avoid anything that has to do with any kind of illness I will not pick up that book well you guys I hope that you got to know me a little bit more in my style just by sharing the tropes that I like in that I don't like in books in the next video like I said I will be sharing the tropes that I absolutely love and that I am a sucker for if you want to see remember to subscribe remember to hit the notification bell and leave me a comment below letting me know your number one trope that you just cannot read like mine was with the cichlid let me know below which is the one thing that you cannot read in any book whatsoever. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys again in a few days in a new video. Until next time, stay safe.